This is the technology that founded our entire telephone system. It's the cup and string telephone. This end has been rigged by a sound man, Darren, to mimic placing it to your ear with a microphone. I'm going back 30 meters to show you how well it works. Can you hear me? I can. Excellent. The plastic cup I'm holding acts as a diaphragm, so every time I make a sound, it vibrates. As long as the string is taut, those vibrations travel to the cup at the other end. That cup also acts like a diaphragm and converts those vibrations back into sound so you can hear my voice. This is basically transmission of sound by telephone and its discovery in the 1800s sparked off a race to produce the first device to transmit a human voice by wire. Workers began stringing out copper wires across the nation to carry telephone conversations, and new phrases started to enter the English language like, ring off, and she's hung up on me. At first, telephones were considered to be so ugly that they didn't want them on display, so things like this crinoline lady were developed to cover them. Now, isn't that better? Later, when telephone use became more widespread, people wanted to make their phones different, so they bought these lovely covers like this velveteen thing, it really is nasty. But when people started to buy their own telephones, the designers really went crazy. Now listen to this. Each key not only plays a note, but dials a number. Great. Operator girls put through the calls, but at 8 p.m. they clocked off as they weren't allowed to work the night shift. And if they got married, they had to give the job up. Over time, they were gradually replaced by electronic switches developed by an American undertaker called Strouger. As well as being sent along cables, phone conversations began to be transmitted on high-frequency radio signals called microwaves. In the 1980s, our phone system began to go digital and our old cabling system was replaced by this, optical fibre. It's just a slither of glass that's as thin as a human hair and it's so pure that if it was 20 kilometers thick, you could see straight through it. And cables made of optical fibers can carry millions of bits of information at once. Slowly, the whole network is being linked with optical fibers. They allow our voices to be carried along pulses of light, which makes them arrive quicker and clearer. Mobile phones first appeared in the 1980s. At first, only a few people owned them, mostly for business use. Now there are over 60 million mobile phones in use in the UK. In the 1990s, the growth of home computing meant phone lines were increasingly used to link PCs to the internet. Our love of surfing the net or just chatting means the phone is here to stay.